Hello student welcome to my channel learn more maths by Varakumar uh, today we are going to solve some problems uh, from the chapter progressions exercise 6.3 so student this total exercise depends upon the formula sum of the n terms of an arithmetic progression so it is denoted by sn so first uh, we have to uh, learn the formula what is the formula for sum of the m terms of an arithmetic progression so sum of the n terms sum of the n terms of an ap of an ap so ap is what arithmetic progression so sum of the n terms so how can we find c student sum of the n terms is denoted by sn so sn so n can be written in the subscription so sn is equal to so formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the formula student so c student sum of the n terms of an ap so it is denoted by sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so suppose n is a number of terms student here n is a number of terms number of terms Suppose if I want to find the sum of the 10 terms, n is equal to 10. If I want to find the sum of 20 terms, uh, here n is equal to 20. So number of terms, n is a number of terms. And a is the first term. a is the first term of an AP. a is the first term. And uh, d is the common difference. d is what common difference? d is common difference. So this is... Uh, d is common difference sum of the n terms of an ap sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so here uh, n is a number of terms a is the first term d is the common difference so if we know the a d and n values we can find the sum of the given ap so up to the n terms suppose uh, we can write uh, using this formula i am writing sn is equal to n by 2 into so 2a i am writing as a plus a student a plus a plus what is there n minus 1 into d right as usual n minus 1 into d n minus 1 into d so c student here n by 2 into so write this a as usual but this a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 1 into d it is the nth term of an arithmetic progression nth term of an arithmetic progression a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so here it is nothing but a n so s n is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n so it can be written also s n is equal to n by 2 into a plus l so sometimes this a n can be written as l l is the last term last term a is the first term and l is the last term if we know the first and the last terms of the given arithmetic progression we have to use to find the sum of the n terms sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l so if we know the first and the last terms suppose if we don't know the last term simply we have to use the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d if we know the a d and n values we have to use this formula if we know the first and the last terms we have to use this formula so these two formulas you have to remember student to solve the problems in exercise 6.3 total exercise 6.3 depends upon the sum of the n terms of an ap sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so we have to use this formula if we know the a d and n values Suppose if we know the first and the last terms of the given arithmetic progression, we have to use this uh, sum of the n terms of an AP, Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus L. So if we know the first and last terms, we have to use this formula. If we don't know the last term, we have to use this formula. Just you have to remember student these two formulas to solve the problems in exercise 6.3. So student here n is the number of terms again a is the first term l is the last term so a n and l both are same student nth term a n or the last term is denoted by l l is also a plus n minus 1 into d so nth term a n is also a plus n minus 1 into d so we can denote s n is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n 
or Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. Both are same student. Don't confuse here. Sometimes we write a plus a n and sometimes we write a plus l. Both are same. Don't confuse here. Okay. So we use this formula to find the sum of the n terms of an arithmetic progression. So now we have to solve some problems in exercise 6.3 1 by 1 student. Find the sum of the following APs. First one exercise 6.3 first problem find the sum of the following APs. Find the sum of the following APs. Find the sum of the following APs. A P C is asking student. So first one 2, 7, 12 dash dash up to 10 terms. 2, 7, 12 dash dash up to 10 terms. So that means he is asking to find the sum of this A P up to 10 terms. So it is nothing but he is asking to find as yes 10. Here n is equal to 10 student. n is equal to 10. So solution, how can we find? See student, uh, 2, 7, 12 dash dash. The given AP is, given AP is, uh, what is the given AP student? 2, 7, 12 dash dash. So here uh, we have first term A is equal to 2 and the common difference D is equal to A2 minus A1. That is 7 minus 2 which is equal to 5. So here a is equal to 2, d is equal to 5, he is asking to find as a first 10 terms that is n is equal to 10 and n is equal to 10, he is asking to find as, a, so we have yes 10 he is asking to find as, we have yes n is equal to which formula we have to use student we don't know the last term so we have to use yes n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d first formula we have to use yes n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the first formula so here we have to find the sum of the first 10 terms that is yes 10 is equal to n is equal to 10 student he is asking to find us the 10 terms suppose if he if he asked to find us 20 terms, n becomes 20. So here he is asking to find us the 10 terms only. Yes, 10 is equal to n by 2. That is a 10 by 2 into 2a. 2a value how much? 2 into 2 plus n minus 1. That is 10 minus 1 into d. d value is how much? 5. So just simply I have substituted all the values. Student, we have n, a and d values. n is a 10, a is a 2, d is a 5. Just I have substituted. n by 2, that is 10 by 2. 2a, that is 2 into 2 plus n minus 1, that is 10 minus 1. d value is 5. So from this we get, a, see student, s 10 is equal to 10 by 2 is 5. 2 ones and 2 fives, so student, 5 into 2 into 2 is 4. Uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 plus 9 into 5. So 9 5 are 45. So that is uh, we get uh, 5 into. So 4 plus 45 is 49 student. 49. So just we have to multiply here. As 10 is equal to. So 5 into 50, 250. But here 5 into 49, we get 245. So this is the sum of the first 10 terms of the given AP. So, how much student? 245. So, see student one more problem. So, this is the first one. So, next second one. So, minus 37, minus 33, minus 29 up to 12 terms he is asking. So, minus 37, comma, minus 33, comma, minus 29, dash, dash up to 12 terms he is asking. So, sum of the 12 terms. So, C student very easy again. So, again the given AP is so minus 37 minus 33 minus 29 dash dash he has given. So, the given AP is uh, the given AP. So, minus 37 minus 33 minus 29 and so on. So, student here A is equal to minus 37. Uh, d is equal to a2 minus a1 a2 value is minus 33 minus a1 value is minus 37 so see student here a2 is minus 33 minus a1 is minus 37 so it becomes a uh, minus 33 plus 37 
which is equal to 4. So minus 33 minus into minus it becomes plus. Minus 33 plus 37 is plus 4. So here up to 12 terms he is asking. So and n is equal to 12. So why 12 student? He is asking to find the sum up to 12 terms. So n is equal to 12. So again we have what is the formula? So here we have to use the first formula. So we have a and d l values. So, so we have to use the first term. No, we don't know the last term here. If we know the last term, we have to use the second formula. But here uh, we know a, d and n values. So we have to use the first term. No? So yes, n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So we have to use this first formula student. So here uh, we have to find the sum of the 12 terms. So therefore n is equal to 12. It becomes yes, 12 is equal to n by 2 that is 12 by 2 into 2a 2 into a value how much minus 37 minus 37 plus n minus 1 so n is equal to 12 12 minus 1 into d d is equal to 4 just a substitute student so now just we have to simplify here 2 1s and 2 6 it becomes 6 into 2 into minus 37 it becomes minus 74 plus 12 minus 1 is 11 student 11 into 4 is 44 so 11 into 4 is 44 6 into minus 74 plus 44 it becomes of minus 30 minus 30 6 into minus 30 is minus 180 so this is the sum of the first 12 terms of the given ap student uh, like this we can find the sum of the n terms of an ap using the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the first formula student uh, sometimes if we know the first and the last terms we have to use the second formula so that's all today's class student we will meet in the next class with some more problems in uh, xa 6.3 so student if you are watching first time my video subscribe my channel learn more maths by varakumar to get latest updates and to get problems so chapter wise exercise wise i am uploading the uh, i am uploading videos student so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another class.